This is the uh, antifreeze that I've put, uh, ready mixed, 50-50, G13. And um, I've purchased uh, 15 litres um, because the internet tells me that the approximate volume in my caravan is about 10 to 13 litres. And uh, I've bought a pump as well from uh, just off eBay. So I think the whole lot of that comes to about £65, something like that. The, the van is actually five years old and has still got the original antifreeze in it, uh, which is the one that um, is recommended to be replaced every two years. Um, I'm not too concerned about it because the the antifreeze protection levels are down to minus 30 degrees centigrade so if it does deteriorate in some way I would, I'm personally still happy with that um, because of course we get nowhere near minus 30 so I'm sure after even five years it's still a reasonable protection um, there are corrosion uh, issues to be considered um, but uh, I wasn't personally too concerned. I've put down plenty of protection ready for any spills and to protect the van from coming in and out and the very first job is to remove the cover there over the um, header tank. I'm going to do that now. Now I'm going to drain the header tank directly underneath the header tank Underneath the caravan is the drain connection. I'm going to uh, compress the uh, the, o, the uh, clip, let the plug come out, empty out uh, the header tank into a bucket, and then of course put the plug back in to the pipework to seal it up, ready for refilling later. That's what's um, come out, a couple of uh, litres. Um, quite cloudy in actual fact. Now that the uh, header tank is drained I'm going to uh, take the screws out, disconnect the pump and the hoses and remove the header tank. All these clips um, can be loosened by just compressing the two tabs with a pair of uh, pliers or similar. Um, now worth noting at this stage that the that this connection is the is the flow going to the heating system so that's the out and this from the tank and this is the return from the heating system coming back to the tank worth noting of course because when I re-inject the new uh, fluid I'm going to put it in in the same direction as it would flow round from the pump Now that the tank is removed, I've connected hoses to the two connections and I've found that uh, ordinary 15mm compression fittings do the job. They compress nicely onto garden hose, giving a good bite to the hose and the seal, and they clamp um, into the rubber hose that's on the caravan uh, with the clip quite tightly, so that's a firm seal. And um, what you've got here is this is going to be the inlet where I should put new chemical uh, coolant into the system in the same direction that it goes round in any case and this connection will be where it comes out. So now I'm all set up ready to start the, in the injection of the coolant. I've got my 15 litres of new coolant there. Um, and I've got a bucket there so that I can view the, the, the stuff coming out and what I'll be looking for of course is for the, the, the new coolant as its new colour to appear at that bucket and when it does I shall turn the thing off. Um, I've connected my new pump to the end of the hose that's going to go in the, in the drum of new chemical. Um, what I decided was that it's clearly quite important to have the um, the inlet and the outlet uh, 
of barrels in the caravan near the connections just below them because of course when it's full and you want to disconnect you're going to want to drain the hoses uh, back to uh, back to waste which you're going to be throwing away eventually and the the remaining new chemical back into the drum so that you can top up with it because of course we're only trying to fill without airlocks to that level um, so um, that's why everything's inside I did originally uh, think I was going to do it through the window but um, I've come to realize that that would leave me with a lot of hose to uh, to drain down and mess about with and I would lose uh, an amount of the new chemical um, in the hose right so I've connected my battery I'm ready to switch on I've bought in an extra bucket in case we end up flushing through more than that bucket holds here we go so that's a sort of a greeny uh, colour and the new is a sort of a purple colour so we'll keep going until we get that it would probably help if the hoses were clear, but I haven't got any. Right, it is running now to the new colour. You just see it through there. It's a lot clearer than the old stuff as well. So I'm going to turn off. Oh, let it go a few more moments. Got plenty left. So it's obviously gone all the way around, pushed out the old and uh, filled with new. No air bubbles or anything coming through with it, so... That's those connections filled right to the top. So I'm now going to uh, put the tank back on. I did get a bit of leakage, but um, it's got easily uh, contained by that uh, rag that I fitted around there. That's the header tank refitted and I'm now going to top up to level from a jug. I've um, vented the system at the, uh, at the little vent point on the bathroom radiator. It did get quite a bit of air out and um, nearly emptied the uh, header tank so I've topped it back up and uh, I'm just going to check the vent again at that position. Right, so we're uh, header tank is full and uh, re pump is back in position. I'm just going to turn the heating on and uh, see what we get. All seems good. If that um, empties at all um, because of the any airlocks coming out of the system, I'll, I'll top it up um, and I'll probably do a double check on that air vent there to make sure that um, no airlock has gone to that position and is still in the system. That's how much uh, coolant I've got left over. So you can see that the, uh, the system has taken about maybe just over 10 litres in total. Which isn't surprising really because it's the, this is one of the, the sm smaller vans, it's only a two berth so uh, one would expect that the uh, online estimate of between I think it was maybe 10 and 13 litres uh, is going to be about right. The caravan heating has now been running for uh, an hour or two after the uh, fluid replacement and um, it's working perfectly, no leaks, no gurgling noises or anything like that. Um, the, I did vent the radiator again and the, the fluid was nice and clean and it was the it was definitely the uh, the new chemical um, so uh, job done um, 